Hey guys, what's up? It's your YouTuber, Jaya. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things money, finance, and entrepreneurship, <laughs> okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to responsibly use a credit card, okay? Because everybody be talking about like credit cards are bad, credit cards are evil, credit cards are this, credit cards are that, credit cards is a scam. No, let me tell you, credit cards treat you kind of how you treat them you're mean to your credit card if you spend over your limit if you don't pay it off you make your credit card carry that heavy balance at the end of every month then your credit card is not going to be so nice to you you're going to have high minimum payments you're going to have high interest rates if you are nice to your credit card and you don't make your credit card carry a balance and you take care of it your credit card your credit baby your credit will take care of you okay credit is everything you can't get a phone without that new iphone no credit you're not getting it that new car no credit denied that home that apartment that you want to get with your home girl you're not gonna get it you're not gonna get it if you don't have good credit this phone that i'm filming on this iphone xr i had to put 300 dollars down when i got this phone because i did not have the credit to just get it and go when i moved to california uh, your girl was your girl didn't have a place to stay. I was bouncing around from Airbnb to Airbnb, not because I didn't have the money for my apartment, but because I didn't have established credit. So they wasn't approving me. Therefore, I couldn't move in. Therefore, your girl was homeless. Okay, credit is everything. So I'm finna tell y'all how to responsibly use your credit card so you can have some bomb man's credit so you can get whatever you want. Okay, you can walk up the dealership, whatever car you want. Okay. Period. Okay, so number one, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to download Credit Karma or some type of credit monitoring app so you can keep an eye on your credit score instead of just checking it like every three months. You can monitor your credit card, credit card, monitor your credit score and so you can like see what you need to do, make an adjustment here, make an adjustment here. Maybe you need to make an extra payment on your credit card to boost your score a little bit more just so you can have an idea of what your credit score is instead of it being a surprise every three months okay number two is you're going to be you're going to set a budget of how much you can spend on your credit card every single month now i'm going to explain this because this also ties into number three so let's say you do your month your weekly or your monthly budget all right and you decide hmm i could spend fifty dollars on my credit card i no no I can put $50 towards my credit card every single month, okay? And so instead of just spending, spending, spending your money and getting your credit card bill at the end of the month and be like, okay, well, I could put $50 towards it. Oh, tell yourself that you have a budget of only $50 to spend on your credit card every single month or however much you budgeted that $50 for. So that way you can go to number three, which is pay off your credit cards in full on time at the end of every month or whenever your payment is due. If you do that, you don't have to worry about how Capital One charges you a 24.63% interest rate because you don't have to pay interest because your credit card is paid off at the end of the month. You don't have to worry about your minimum payment or none of that. So if you follow this method of having a certain amount of money budgeted out to spend on your credit card at the, at the end of every single month, your credit card will always be paid off. So if you only spend, you budgeted out $50 for the month and you only spend $50 on your credit card, you take that $50 that you budgeted and you pay it off on your credit card and your credit card should be zero balance at the end of every single month or at the end of every single billing cycle. And that's how you make sure that your credit card is paid off in time, on full at the end of every month because baby, as of right now, oof, my braids. All we have is our little, not our little credit card, but all we have is our credit card. That is a great way to establish good credit, paying off your credit card at the end of in full and not leaving a balance because that balance creates interest and all that other stuff that we don't want. Okay. Okay. So guys, I have seven money management tips that every 18 to 24 year old needs to know you click here i have you want to know how i afford rent at 19 years old you can click over here in the meantime make sure you like comment down below subscribe ask questions to ask jaya and in the meantime stay strong because i love you i love you i do i promise you even if you don't feel like it i do i love you okay bye